Hey YouTube, so in today's episode, I have a product that I'm installing onto my bow. I am a type of man that likes to do a lot of things. My wife says that she can't keep up with my hobbies. So here I am, this is me. So anyway, I love the outdoors. I've been hunting since I was 14 years old. My dad introduced me to the sport and I got hooked and it never left me. Anyway, let's let's get let's get to the show. So I am installing this Apache drop away arrow rest. It's nothing to sing about. It's pretty cheap. It's below fifty bucks. But the reason why I uh, I have it is because I've been hunting with this specific drop away arrow rest for ten years, and it works. And it dependable all the time and also if the model here hasn't changed it's made out of aluminum so it's super quiet and it's no nonsense simple and to the point so if you're interested in this video let's go have some fun So here you can see the the drawstring. As you draw your bow, this thing is tied to one of your cable. It comes up. It comes up, and as you let go of your, uh, as you release your bow, it drops down, and it avoids your, the fletching through and through. So as you can see, it's got its own little levers right here to lock and uh, adjust your the windage of the rest here and this right here you uh it, this is a double-sided tape so you tape it onto the right here this is where you tape it on so let's go ahead and remove the whisker biscuit start by using a hex wrench right here Move and it, okay, so this thing right here goes, and this thing comes. All of these units comes with a little rubber band piece right here to hold the screw here. It's really simple to install. So here's the thing, do not tighten this yet because you're going to have to adjust the level of your thingamabob here. Just, just tighten that so that you can adjust. So then make sure that this little thing right here with my thumb is, is not interfering with anything. Okay, because this thing right here will be tied to this cable right here. This cable right here because as you draw the cable will move this thing like this like that. so this little lever right here moves the plane not the plane but the height of your arrow so I'll show you how this thing should look like here we go so this thing moves up and down like this. This thing right here, once it's this thing right here, once it's loosened, uh, scoots the side or the the arrow rest here this way, okay, that way. This one right here moves it up and down like this. So let's go get an arrow, knock it on, and see how it. Okay, so I've knocked my arrow on, and I'm gonna pull this string. And I can see that my arrow is not really straight. It's bent down like this. Okay. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make I'm gonna raise the arrow rest here up. By doing that, how I do that 
is loosen this, move it up a hair. Okay, and then hold this little thing here. Okay, perfect. All right, I'm doing this by side. So what I'm seeing here, okay, so let's tighten this. So that's tightened, okay? So we're gonna loosen this part because now the arrow is not aligned. It's, it's pointing this way. So we're, 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 what, what we're trying to do here is to align the arrow with this line along with the shaft here. Okay. It has to align with this line and the pins align there. Okay, you see the pins, the side set pins? And the arrow and the and the uh, bow string is aligned, but this shaft here is pointed this way, uh, that way. So what what we have to do is we have to move this right here, this uh, drop away rest here, out this way, so that the the tip of this arrow will align with the pins here and this. If you look at here where the pins are, it, it's aligned, and then the arrow itself is aligned as well. So this is how I do mine. You don't have to have a leveler or or a T square to knock onto here to make sure it's aligned. Uh, that to make sure it's uh, um, squared. All I do is just eyeball. And then I take it to the field and just shoot, shoot the heck out of them. Okay, so now I'm going to tie this to uh, this cable right here. And I need to make sure which cable I'm tying it onto. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is this string right here will be clamped onto this part, part right here. This thing right here has one little groove here and one little groove here. So one groove goes to the cable, one groove goes to the string. Okay. So this one goes like this. Don't know if you can see. And then this one goes like this. Okay. So once that, that goes on, what I'm going to do, I'm going to put this one right on top this other half okay once they go on top the screw okay this nut that goes to the other half goes like this this screw goes in like this okay okay so what I am gonna do I'm gonna tighten it tight enough so that as I pull hard enough it'll loose it'll give way like this you see the arrow rest here it'll pull tight enough until it reaches apex and then this thing will loosen like like this so then I know exactly that it's reached its apex That's the apex. So I'm gonna let that go. Okay. So here is the screw. And it's tight. Okay. So now I'm gonna put my, I'm gonna knock my arrow. make sure that it is 90 degrees this piece right here is so important it's gonna be perched right here it's gonna be perched right here and I have to cut it to length okay 
Okay guys, so this is what I did. Basically I cut this down this much so that it'll just match the perch here. What I'm gonna do, I've already used my alcohol to wipe this area right here. So, and I've just peeled <laughs> this thing off. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put some super glue here And so the way I do this, guys, you see the the air, air drop, air rest here? There's like a V-notch there. I match the V-notch where this V-notch is. So I, I align them. So follow me, and uh, let's go test this thing, all right? Let me know what your thoughts are.